Alright, we are at a forest restoration project here trying to reclaim it back to natural from buckthorn. The buckthorn on this property has probably been 20 years in the making. You can kind of see the browse line on all the box elder. The box elder is the lighter green tree and everything you see that's dark green and everything along this edge right here is mainly buckthorn. Glossy buckthorn if you're looking for it in the invasives. So we are gonna take a look inside and see what this you does. You can see here this is one of the few openings that we have. It's already been round up. We're gonna do a small food plot in here. But I wanted to show you this because this is one of our culprit trees right here. This is buckthorn. And you can see I'm in here now because I can identify there's the berry. There's a male and a female of this tree and the berry trees are what you need to get rid of first because otherwise it will drop four to five seeds for every berry and the songbirds love them which is how this got spread long ago. But you can see the leaf right there and then you can see what it does under the tree all of these seedlings right here that I've just sprayed are buckthorn they start off as that right there and this one and then they you can see it's almost a monoculture under here now because it's almost full canopy and you can see this is one of the more established areas. And as you can see here, from a deer's perspective, I'm holding this camera at chest height. This right here is solid buckthorn. So while it looks nice and thick, it is 100% shade, 100% canopy nearly. And I'm gonna even take a deer trail here And you'll be able to see that as I'm walking through this, it's all buckthorn, 100%, which would be fine if deer and wildlife actually browsed on it. But you can see here that even right along the trail, right at deer's height, they are not utilizing this for food at all. So all this is doing is choking out the rest of the forest that a deer can actually use. So today we're gonna to take a mixture of diesel and triclip here. You can get that on Amazon, it's about $70 for a gallon. And we're gonna paint some stumps from about, you can see from about this crotch right here down, it's about a three inch tree. It's about 18 inches. We're just gonna coat that with diesel and triclip here. And this tree will be noticeably brown within a week. All right, I've got my mix set here. I've got one gallon of diesel with four ounces of triclopyr 4. Um, it's a generic form of garlon, 60% triclopyr when mixed at at rate. But I went with a uh, 4 ounce, which is a half a cup, to one gallon mix because the basil bark spray was calling for a anywhere from 1 to 5 gallons per 100. So either a 1 to 100 rate or a 1 to 20 rate, depending on you know what you're dealing with so I'm gonna try the lower rate and just see how things go if I've got to retreat a few trees that's fine but um, like I said mainly my goal is to get rid of the berry trees so here's a very typical area you can see it's pretty much vacant down here at deer level except for the buckthorn you can see there the dark part that's where I've sprayed down it says you only need about 12 to 15 inches, but I usually spray up a ways until I've got some good smooth bark coated. 
So all I do here is take my sprayer, and this one is dead over here, but I'm going to spray it anyway. And I just make sure that I'm coating all sides. If I have to come back and cut it down later, I will. I'm quite a ways into it here. I've sprayed about three gallons on these. Some of these bigger trees I go a little farther up. You can see there I came up quite a ways. Probably about five feet on the multiple stem ones. But what I wanted to show you here was we've got very little daylight coming through. We've got essentially one kind of weed here that it looks like is not being browsed right there. And then these beneficial trees right here to, to deer, they love them, box elders. Easy to grow, almost like a weed when they have daylight. But you can see there that right at probably that first branch there on the right is about six feet up. That's right at my bill of my hat. And this one is the same thing. You can see they're stripped clean just because there's no browse in here. And there's the parent box elder right here that has since died out. But it'll come back. It's got fresh growth on it. But um, you can see the just the multiple stemmed ones here right there, right there. Three, four, five, six, seven. There's a box elder. Eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, these are a huge canopy. And that's what is driving this near monoculture on the floor here. And there's a lot of deer movement through here, but it's just not doing anything for them. Cover is good, but we'd rather have cover that is also food.